what's that defining memory that you have of your daughter that makes you happy and that makes you want to keep fighting? Her singing, <laughs> smiling. Um, she loved to sing. I, we would tell her she wasn't good at it, but you couldn't tell her that. And she would sing and dance around and just be living in the moment. She always wanted me to cook something, mainly chicken. She loves chicken. I don't care what you do to it, she loves chicken. Yeah. March the 13th, 2020, was the day that your world came to a standstill. It was. It was when you lost Brianna. Yeah, a Friday. Is there anything that you sort of find yourself wishing that you'd said to her or that you told her or that you wanted her to know at all? I think about March the 12th when she called me and um, I was laying down. She said, you should get up and cook for me. And I was like, oh no, you got me messed up. But she was like, come on, Ma, get up and cook. You ain't doing nothing. I was like, you're right, I ain't, and I don't want to do nothing, you know. Um, I wished I would have got up and cooked. Do you have a dream about Brianna? Do you ever see her? Has she been to visit you at all? No. And that, it worries me. But part of me believes it's because She's not at peace yet. And I think that she will never be until someone is held accountable. So you believe deep down that Brianna is looking at all of this and she's as angry as you are? Absolutely. Why is that? Absolutely. Because first of all, Brianna loved everybody and, and, and would help anybody. And to know that this thing started because what happened to her, that nobody was trying to help her. To go into Brianna's apartment and literally can tell that not one person even attempted to help her. Not, it wasn't a, a Band-Aid in there. It wasn't, not one person attempted to help her. They watched her lay on that floor and die and stepped over her and not even attempt to help her. How do you do that? Why would you do that to anybody? And to know her, as sweet as she was, as kind as she was, that it happened to her. I think she had so much good to do in the world and she was preparing herself to do it. So I know that she's angry for being cut short. And, and by doing that, you didn't, you didn't just hurt me, you hurt the world because she definitely would have did good. And she deserved to do it. These tears and the grief that I'm seeing before me I imagine that is because of the fact that you're now fully aware of what happened that night. The fact that she was shot and killed and her body was left in her apartment for quite a while and you weren't able to be there to help her at all. To feel, to know that you couldn't that I couldn't help her. To know that I was outside for hours and she was in their land floor. As a mother, you, I, I've always felt my job was to protect her. And I was home. Do you find yourself feeling guilty? Absolutely. 
not guilty because as if you know there's been so many stories about this this night or the who she was and all of that I felt guilty to know that I was outside. I didn't know if she was even still there. At one point, I went to the hospital and I waited there for hours. I, you know, and then I, I came back and in my mind, I never even knew where she was, you know. I prayed that she was okay. I prayed that she, hopefully, she's at a different hospital. I prayed for so many things. But I prayed for her to be alive the most. And had she survived this senseless tragedy, how different do you think things would be right now? I think that, I don't know that things would be different. Had she survived, they would have went on business as usual. And for me, she would be alive. I would much rather her be that. I know the tears that you're crying right now aren't just for Brianna. It's also for this officer, Miles Cosgrove, who has now let Louisville to become a police officer once again in another part of this um, state. And for you, that's, that's, you know, that's just depressing. It's sickening. It's depressing. It's it's this to me it's like yeah I killed her so what do you think about him often I don't I don't want memories of him I don't want to be consumed with a thought of him and for you right now, the only option in helping you with this grief that you're going through is by him being fired from this new police department that he's working for. Absolutely. He doesn't deserve to be a police officer, which is why he could not get a job here. And to go to a neighboring county is insane. This is a neighboring county, so they know this story. They've watched this. Even, even if you didn't want to know this story, you had to know something of this story. This thing was huge. It was all over the nation. Like, you know something about it. And then you also know that these officers lied, that they, you know, they lied. They went again to that apartment and did what they wanted to do and, and, and was determined to not let other people find that out. How are you okay with that? How do you think that that person should be in the streets again with a gun? What happens the next time he blacks out? So we contacted the Cowell County Sheriff's Office for comment as to why they hired him, but they've declined to comment. But if Miles Cosgrove is watching this right now, what do you want to say to him? That I will never forgive you. That I don't think that you should be an officer. I, I think that 
I pray that karma catches up to him. That anger that you have inside and that frustration, is that simply because of the fact that he will never, or as of right now, not face any charges? However, as we now know, his four colleagues are going on trial in August. For you, that's not enough. It's not enough. You literally had, did not know what you were shooting at, who you were shooting at. You didn't, you didn't care, and you kept shooting. I'm not a police officer, but I know enough to know that even when that shot came out, they should have retreated and assessed the threat, and you chose not to. You chose to keep going. You chose to, I don't think they intended to leave anybody alive in there. <clears throat> See my 874 days. That's how many days it took to get an indictment. And those are the officers who we now know will be going on trial later this year? Absolutely. Four officers. One, two, three, four. So everything at the moment is just a constant reminder? Absolutely. I, um, I don't, I worry. Actually, I don't, I don't know how death works, you know? So I make sure that I'm constantly reminded. I don't ever want to forget her. Yeah. I don't ever want to not be thinking about her. We're still hearing of, you know, black people being killed at the hands of the police. Does that still worry you or, or, or do you believe that there is a systemic or institutional problem in this country when it comes around to black lives? It definitely is a, a problem because no one's really being held accountable. Um, and until you really start truly holding these people accountable, why would they change their behavior? Why, you know, of course we're gonna make it look good for a few, few weeks, months, whatever, to get people off our back and go back to what we want to do. And that's the problem. It's so hard to hold these people accountable um, they need to get rid of this qualified immunity. It, it has to go, because until then, they will continuously kill us. Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, in the lead up to the last presidential election, they reached out to you and, and were offering you support and were meeting with you. Do you feel like they've done enough at the moment in terms of trying to change this country and trying to improve policing or even from your perspective trying to stop you not know, at all. black boys and girls dying? Not at all. The craziest thing I've learned through this situation is to literally hear all these people say all the things that went wrong that night, all the things that should not have happened. All you to know that these people who are in charge of everything tell you that those things were wrong and that they shouldn't have happened and do nothing is insane. It will never make sense to me. You can't offer support, guidance, any of that if you're not going to do the follow-up work. I think that so many of those people use these situations to get in those spaces and then go on about their way. President Biden has announced that he'll be running again for re-election. Will you be supporting him this time around? I definitely am not supporting Trump. Um, I just, I'm, we'll see who, who else ends up in the race. Sounds like you're disappointed. I'm disappointed in that. The whole damn nation at this moment.
because no matter where you stand politically, this this what you're going through is not politics, right? It's not. And it's important for people to understand that. It never has been for me. And to watch it play out like it is, is heartbreaking, disturbing. Since Brianna died, there have been a number of other high profile black people in this country dying at the hands of the police. One of those recent ones is Tyree Nichols. How did you feel when you saw the footage of these final moments? To hear him crying out for his mother broke my heart. He has the same birthday as Brianna, the exact same birthday and year. And to hear him call for his mother and she not be there. imagine Brianna crying out for me and I wasn't there. When we talk about legacy, Tamika, I'm wondering how do you see all of this ending for you? Because we know Brianna has now become such a figure synonymous with the movement and the, ju and, and the call for justice for black people in this country. What do you think your legacy w will be in all of this? And do you think in your lifetime before you leave this earth that you'll ever get the justice that you so desperately want, not just for yourself, but also for that young lady behind you? I pray I do. I pray that I'm able to, at some point, try to live my life a little, but most days I feel like this thing is going to swallow me. Wow. I mean, that was your baby. Yeah. Your the love of your life. The diva. Absolutely. When you look at the fact that, you know, there are people around the world chanting her name, did you ever think Brianna would impact the world so much? I don't know. I knew she would be impactful, but to know that she has literally changed the world is crazy, you know? It's a blessing and a curse. You're blessed because the world is fighting for her, but curse for the reason they have to.